I found the little clip that is supposed to go on this upright 2040 extrusion, doesn't quite work right, so I put the X and Y harnesses in the channels and zip tie them in. The second mod is another zip tie mod, but used in a different way. Make sure you leave your uppermost zip tie from this step a little loose for the second mod. In the second mod, you will need a long heavy zip tie, available from Harbor Freight or any home improvement store. Zip tie the loop end to the upright, then attach the length of the large zip tie to the hot end wire harness all the way to the hot end assembly. Ensure you zip tie it to the metal tab on the hot end assembly as well.
These two zip tie mods will help with keeping a neat appearance, but will also help keep the hot end wire harness from snagging on the Y axis. The third mod for this video is the riser that moves the spool above the print area, and positions the spool diagonally as well. The link to the part is in the description, I printed this in J.O. Black P.E.T.G. Make sure your PTFE tube is long enough to keep the filament from rubbing on the wire harness. With these mods complete, time to print another spool riser for my other SV05 that is waiting on parts. There is one more mod left for this SV05, which is waiting on mail to arrive.